Hello and welcome everyone, Rufus Shinra here as if I was never away. Are you sure about that? Uh, coming back today with a uh, quick Raid Shadow Legends video regarding a topic that has been um, on the forefront for this past couple of days. I'll be talking about Ninja, what happened in game and what will happen. We actually do have some uh, somewhat official information that I will be sharing with you in a little bit. And also be showcasing how my um, CVC is going if anybody's interested. So thank you again for tuning in. I know the updates weren't frequent, but it is what it is. Uh, there are some IRL constraints that I need to deal with. But uh, fear not, I'm always available on Discord if anybody needs help with anything or just wants to talk about the game. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so uh, update on the CVC. It started a few hours ago. Let's see. We're not doing too bad. We're actually leading by a fair margin. Uh, I've done so far 116 points and Mariachi, our number one, 162. Everybody's going, uh, let's say, moderately strong. There are double points on Dragon, but uh, maybe I'll do hit. I will hit those. I will prioritize mainly Spider because, as you can see, I'm starting to run low on Silver and we don't want that to happen, do we? So, yeah, basically my strat in the CVC was first um, use some book points, feed in rares from the last two ch double chances, uh, food farming mania to other rares, which gives 500 points per skill point. Uh, let's see. I think I do have still some that I could feed to each other. Like this guy, I do this with all my unwanted dupe prayers, and that's an easy 500 points. Uh, there is also the forge that I can abuse, especially with the uh, five stuffs RSL helper with the auto forge option. That's something for another video. As you can see here, I'm pretty low on resilience materials. But, uh, this was actually a uh, previous CVC on around 5,000 pieces or, or more. So, but I still can craft that and I still have a fair amount of um, perception, so I can do both, uh, craft, auto-craft or auto-forge as many as I can. And again, with Fobstoff's RSL, the auto-forge now works without the intervention of the mouse, meaning you can set it, uh, set rate to auto-forge and go do whatever you want on your computer if you're on player and play, of course. Uh, without, um, because before you would have basically to le go AFK because uh, it would manipulate the mouse which uh, wouldn't let you run anything else. So, this is also another way, but my main way of going about the CVC basically here is 3v3. I purchased a bunch of tokens yesterday, uh, so that uh, is to benefit from a lower gem cost. And then got some today from the dailies and I'm doing uh, CVC constantly basically. I'm always... Uh, uh, on, on zero uh, on uh, on the green tokens as, and try to refill them before they expire. So uh, this was CVC. I think that we're pretty much going to have a uh, an okay time win this time around. I don't know. Maybe they'll be pushing later on. Of course, there's faction wars. So uh, I did all about both my faction wars, and I'll be doing again uh, a couple of four keys on level 21 to get maximum points, clan bars, and basically the day. Okay, so that was it about my uh, clan boss quick update. Now, uh, if you're here for the ninja information, <laughs> let's get on directly with it. So a couple of days ago, or a few days, more than a few days ago, there was an article on um, GameSpot that I will uh, link somewhere around here uh, that talked about the fact that the famous Fortnite Twitch streamer Ninja uh, had a deal with Plarium to get a champion based on his image, like basically what they did uh, with Saito before. So that legendary character would be available in the game for a certain period of time. So uh, up to yesterday, we had no comments from the community managers, but today uh, I will paraphrase this comment so that I will not copy paste it here because we need to keep information within the moderator chat for Plarium um, under wraps. But basically the idea is that um, the uh, it will be possible to get 
Ninja in the game, it's confirmed officially, uh, starting from July the 16th until October the 15th. So between these two dates, we will have um, uh, Ninja as the seventh day of login reward. So basically, if you're logged to the game starting July 16th for a period of seven consecutive days, you will get Ninja in the end. So uh, exactly on the uh, 23rd. So on July 23rd, technically, if you've played every day, you will get Ninja. This is confirmed today. And uh, once you claim Ninja, he will stay in your collection basically uh, for all time. So you can keep Ninja. It's just, it's not like a champion would disappear after three months like some people thought, but it's basically just a li limited edition or limited time uh, release le legendary. So again, if you miss him outside of that window, there is no other way for you to get it. That's what we know so far. So yeah, yeah. when I finished editing the video, I forgot about this tiny little point. Yeah, so in case you don't know, the information has been circulating for uh, about a day and some now. So there is a promo code that you can use in-game to redeem rewards. That promo code is NINJA. N-I-N-J-A. Write it in, uh, in, in small letters or in caps, it does not matter. So I used it yesterday and I was able to redeem these uh, goodies. You can see here the labeled promo code reward. So you get uh, three times 50 auto battles, one three day double XP banner, and I think about six or five uh, energy refills. Uh, so yeah, pretty good rewards. There was also, I think, some gems. Uh, no, some, um, some silver, 500k silver in it. So pretty good rewards. Uh, we're told that the promo codes are supposed to go live at a later date. Uh, some people have tried to redeem them and it didn't work for them. So try your luck. Mm, you have nothing to lose if you can redeem them. And of course, I'll be trying to redeem them once more um, uh, once this two-hour window is uh, elapsed. Uh, maybe we'll be able to redeem them, but I would doubt that. So. Yeah, that was for the little uh, goodies that we got thanks to Mr. Ninja. Now back to the rest of the video we know so far. So yeah, as far as the skills go, we have no confirmation, but uh, I'll show on screen the skills that basically were leaked, quote unquote. And uh, yeah, as far as the, what I think of the champion, no, I don't know. Um, he, his, uh, the thing that's interesting about him maybe is his combo ability. His passive, that would stack uh, attack and crit damage all the way to 100%. That is interesting indeed. His affinity, his um, uh, kit does not really lend well to the current meta. Except, except if that combo ability is a game changer. And we will see that once we get him. There's actually in a few days, maybe three days from the release of this video. We will start the process of getting him. And uh, seven days after that, so ten days from now. Everybody will have a ninja, or at least people who logged on during that period. So, yeah, that was my take on ninja. I hope uh, that these informations helped clear up a bit this situation. Tell me in the comment section below what you think of this move from Plarium, making a character like that, introducing a character like that in this day and age. Are you excited? Do you think they should still release that damn dupe system first? or anything else please let me know in the comment section below this was rufus shinra and i'm signing out